Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another YouTube video. My cat is in the way now. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and move my setup out of the way. Here is the AR-15 AM-15 Anderson manufactured manufacturing uh, AR-15. Now, I have bought new things for this rifle. First, we're gonna look at the magazine that I've bought. In. I've bought in a full 10 magazine, and I went ahead and did some modifications to it. I figured it'd be kind of appropriate. These are also holding the uh, hollow points, and this one, uh, I've gotten it. Re I've gotten it replaced. The original person that set, that sold me the other one uh, replaced the magazine that would spit the other uh, bullets out um, with a functioning one. <clears throat> now, recently I have I have purchased a uh, an iron sight for this. You push this button here, and it brings up the iron sight here in the front, and this other one brings out the iron sight in the back. Now it it also has a uh, a selective one for a much more, I guess, a shallow hole and a, a deeper one. But, as you guys have may, may, ha, may have or may have not noticed, I also have something else up here. Hang on one second, let me go ahead and close this. <clears throat> now the reason I have this iron sight here is because in case my, my other sight goes out, eh, may, maybe for, uh, something to do with the battery or not, here is a green dot and red dot sight. You may not be able to see that right there, but it is a sight uh, with a dot in it. Mainly because I have my, my laser on and it's very dusty at the moment. Because I keep it facing up against the wall with my shotgun. And my uh, 223 Rossi single shot sniper rifle. I'm also playing games right now. I'm taking this video uh, pretty late. I am uh, rather very drunk. But I figured I would rather uh, I would uh, update you guys on my new rifle. I'm sorry, my uh, rifle uh, attachments. And I'm pretty happy with what I have so far. I plan in the future buying a flashlight for the bottom, and maybe replacing this rail. Y you guys, let me know. I want to see. I want. I want you guys to tell me whether or not I should replace this whole this whole system here. Have a flashlight on the side here or on the other side, and a. Uh, a grip here not quite one of these but more one of i don't know what they're called they're, they're, you, you grab them like this and it looks kind of i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about i don't want one of these though the i guess the the stick grip i'm not too familiar with with these rifles just yet uh i remember using a m4a1 when i was in the army about four years ago I don't, I, we never used the the stick piece. We used uh, or practically, practically nothing. And I do plan on keeping this because I, th I think it just looks really nice on there. If you guys think I should get a collapsible one, then uh, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I do plan on buying more of these magazines. But right now with this whole uh, infection, or should I say flu going on right now, uh it's not they're not really cheap and and ammo is extremely scarce so i have 30 here and 30 here in total i have 60 and i keep this one inside of the the rifle in uh, inside of the rifle at all times so you guys let me know what i should do next to this rifle and uh, as always thank you for watching and i hope to hear you guys, uh from you guys very soon